Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Pioneer Gymnasium here on the campus of Cal State East Bay here in Hayward, California. Thank you for joining us for our CCAA conference matchup between the visiting Cougars of Cal State San Marcos and your Cal State East Bay Pioneers. Coming into this game, Cal State San Marcos comes in with an overall record of 10 and 15 and a conference record of 9 in 10, just sitting on the outside of the CCAA playoffs, looking in. Sitting in the A spot right now, gotta work your way up to six, but tied with San Francisco State. So San Francisco State, Sonoma State, and Cal State San Marcos all fighting for that last playoff spot. Cal State East Bay comes in with a overall record of 16 and nine, a conference record of 12 and seven, and having just clinched a playoff spot for the CCAA playoffs, Still playing for something here tonight as they want to improve their seeding. They can work their way from five all the way up to two. If things go right, they win out, get a little help from other teams. So Pioneer still playing for something here, not just going to roll over here by any means as they want to work their way up into a higher standing. Need losses from Cal State LA and Chico State. Grady Lewis got called for the travel to open things up. Cougars working around here. Now looking to get downhill, Tengen works it back out. Triple on the way, it's good. Jack Schultz knocks it down. The junior out of Temecula gets things going here for the Cougars. Inside Lewis from the big man, Clenaris. That one-two combo, and that puts the Pioneers on the board. Baseline jumper on the way off front rim. Clenaris tracks it down, but steps out of bounds. Coming up short on that jumper was Edwin Collins, the senior out of Moreno Valley. Cougars looking to go 500 on their conference schedule here tonight. Pioneers looking to just chip away and try to work their way up a few spots. Soft take through the lane, getting that one to go was Uriah Foster. Another junior coming out of Pasadena. Chris James over to Clenaris. Now Campbell Wing extended back up top. Pioneer starting lineup, Peyton White, Chris James, Grady Lewis, Demetrios Clenaris, and Tyree Campbell. As Campbell now with it, double team was there. Campbell backing down his defender, working his way through the lane, lays it up with the right, just rims it out halfway down. Rebound tracked down there by the Cougars as Tengen swings it back. That pass tipped away by Clenaris, comes up with the steal. Now the Pioneers out on the break. Clenaris, Peyton White, corner triple. Yes, sir. Making a 5-5 game here as Peyton White knocks down the triple. And Clenaris had that one kind of just slip through his hands but was able to grab it right before it went out of bounds. Clenaris full head of steam. Little jump stop move trying to get his defender to jump out the window, did not. Now here is Clenaris. Swings it, Peyton White one more time. Off rim, Grady Lewis offensive board. Fighting with Schultz back out. Clenaris in the corner, 15 on the shot clock. Clenaris backing down the smaller defender here. He's got Tengen on him, double team comes, dumps it off, Peyton White could not handle it. Coming up with it, Mike Pope. Now Pope. Here is Tengen getting downhill, goes up, lays it up and in. Had to go up over Grady Lewis and Clenaris. Not an easy shot, but he laid it off glass. Chris James back out, Peyton White lines it up, can't get it to go. Lewis tracks down the offensive board. Clenaris gets a good look. That one halfway down and rimmed out. Peyton White, extra effort, tracks down that offensive board. Campbell working against his man, rises up and gets it to go. That possession, you can sum it up in one word. The tenacity inside. Good look here for Uriah Foster. 
tenacity from the Pioneers just all over the offensive glass there. And that's what that possession was all about. Campbell wing extended back up, paid him white. Clonaris corner triple on the way off iron. Pioneers getting a lot of good looks from three right now, and that's because Cougars are in that 2 3. This one tipped. Grady Lewis dives out for it, hands it off Clonaris. Clonaris running with Campbell. Clonaris takes it himself, lays it up off glass. Timeout taken here by the Cougars. Nick Booker wants to talk things over. We're going to take a short break here, and we will be right back. California is the most diverse state in America. In the CCAA, diversity is our strength, inclusion our commitment, and social justice our passion. We invite, value, and embrace differing viewpoints to strengthen our collective voice. The CCAA is committed to creating campus environments in which diversity, inclusion, and social justice are not only recognized and valued, but also practiced. With 12 member institutions statewide, you're never too far away to be a part of our family. Join us at GoCCAA.org forward slash diversity today. And we are back out of the timeout. Pioneers tied up with the Cougars right now. 9-9, tough possession. This one a turnover. Here comes James. James throws it up. That one swatted away by Tengen. Now here comes the Cougars. Going right at Grady Lewis and getting that one to go was Uriah Foster. Not an easy shot, but he gets it. Here is Campbell, wing extended, back up top to Clonaris. Clonaris, little pick and roll action with Lewis, barrels into the defender, blocking foul. They're gonna say before the shot here. We take a look at this one once more, Clonaris, little pick and roll action. They're gonna say that one was on the ground, so baseline out. So Eaton subs into the game, getting his first minutes. Grady Lewis working against Foster, lays it up, can't get it to go. And now here comes the Cougars. Full head of steam, Schultz stops on a dime, they swing it. Good take through the lane for Collins, back out Tengen, triple on the way, no good. Big rebound, Peyton White. Here is Clonaris trying to facilitate over to Campbell. Campbell, jump stop, lays it up, no good, offensive board. Gets it ripped away. And a jump ball here. So it will be Cougar ball. Cougars playing some inspired basketball right now. No doubt about it, they're playing to keep their hopes alive at trying to secure that final six seed. The other five teams all have clinched. Once again, Sonoma State, San Francisco State, and Cal State San Marcos are the last three teams fighting for their opportunity at the playoffs. High arcing little runner there, Edwin Collins. That one hit nothing but net on the way down. 13 to nine here, Cougars lead it. Hardy into the game for the Pioneers to go with Eaton. So I read Campbell, Grady Lewis, and Ramsey Huff. Eaton, baseline attack, not a lot there. Blocking foul called. Uriah Foster tried to get over and get set, but could not. Eaton was passing that one out. Take a look at this floater one more time. Just got to his spot and 
sent that one up. Not an easy shot, no doubt. Kind of Curry-esque. Cal State San Marcos is visiting the Bay Area, so it's only right. Hardy inside, tough take off the glass, gets it to go. Here is Collins working against Campbell, rises up deep two, gets it to go. Nice move, nice jumper coming in there from Edwin Collins. Huff swings it over Hardy. Hardy gets the step baseline, goes into the defender, draws the contact, and he'll head to the free throw line. Hardy first free throw, no good. Hardy on the season, 58% free throw shooter. Only had been there 12 times coming into tonight. So this is 13 and 14 on the season for Hardy from the stripe. And Hardy gets the second to go, splits the pair. Here is Tangan, just blows right past Huff, now works it over. Good ball movement, Tangan now, baseline attack, swings that one. Barely staying in bounds, just cross court pass after cross court pass. Huang can't get it to go. And Campbell called for the travel. Kind of a choppy first half here so far as we are just about seven minutes gone here. About to hit that 13 minute mark. Tengen, just with so much speed off that dribble, it's hard to guard full court. Abiraque and Clinaris over at the scores table. Two free throws coming here after Campbell got faked on that head faked. She kind of jumped out, tried to close out and Easy play there for Edwin Collins. Got Campbell in the air, goes into him and draws the contact. Two free throws. You see it all the time. Edwin Collins leads the team in points per game at 17.4. 45% from the field, 27% from three, and a 75% free throw shooter on the season. And the first one no good from Collins. Not very deep tonight are the Cougars, just eight active players. So something that might play into the Pioneers' favor here. Especially if you can start getting a few players in foul trouble. Huff swings it, Abiraque over to Eaton. Now Clinaris, he's got Wong on him. Clinaris, top of the key, working against Wong. Back out, Abiraque, corner, triple, off front rim. Clinaris keeps it alive, he'll be called for the over the back. Second team foul, Clinaris is first. Pioneers trail it by four. Cougars looking to extend out onto their lead here. Collins works it out. Triple is good. Max Tengen, the freshman, knocks it down. Eaton works it back out of Biroquay. Hands off Huff. Huff back out. Eaton, 16 footer off back iron, no good. Wong tracks down the board. And Hardy's gonna be called for the foul here. Wong got the step baseline, draws the contact, 
And that'll take us to the media timeout. 11.45 left, 19 to 12. Two free throws when we come back after this. To be a pioneer, it means to be a part of a community that's inclusive, caring, and hardworking. I think sports is so important for everyone. We've all got to get some time to play. Golf means everything to me. I feel like I play it so much that at this point it's like a part of my identity. In sports, representing a school, having a logo on your clothes is a lot bigger than what some people realize. Being a pitcher, you, you have a unique experience on the field. I love going on the mound and having control of the game. Every day I put on the jersey and get to train with my boys, then uh, no, it's a good day. It's the drive that keeps me going. Really just go for it all and compete and be in a group of guys that has the same dreams and goals that help me become better and I can help them become better too. Pioneer is a great name for someone who comes from a culture that was pioneering for themselves as well, so it's great to embody that here at school. I am a pioneer. I'm a pioneer. I am a pioneer. Pioneer. I am. I am. I am a pioneer. And we are back out of the timeout. 11.45 left, 19 to 12. Make it 20 to 12. Chance to make it a nine point game here. Cougars, the more aggressive team so far here in this first half. 11.45 to go. As Wong goes two for two. Pioneers gotta start finding their offense. You don't want to find yourself in too big of a hole here as Clenaris back up to Abiraque. Abiraque gets the step baseline, goes right at his defender, goes up and lays it in. So a much needed bucket for the Pioneers. Now they need to get themselves a stop. Jack Scholl's triple is good. Knocks it down, makes it a 10 point game as a Biroquay now with it. Over to Huff. Pick and roll action, Clenaris lays it up off glass and gets it to go. One thing you're gonna see here tonight, Pioneers are gonna have to start working in the three ball a little bit more. If the Cougars stay in this two three, I don't know how often the inside's gonna be open. They're able to just pack it in with that 2-3 zone and really force a team to beat you from outside. Albiroquay, nice around the back, facilitating. Dumps it off, Clenaris. Peyton White fakes the triple. Can't get it to go. Albiroquay follows, no good. Clenaris on the second attempt. Another one of those plays. The Pioneers just battling, fighting for every extra possession as Tengen gets to his spot, throws it over. Tries to force it inside to Wong, tipped out of bounds. So Tangan to the bench. Getting a quick rest. Inbound, it's gonna be Jack Schultz. Here is Wong working against Eaton. Eaton, good defense, and stepping out of bounds is Wong. Here is Eaton. Good ball movement here from the Pioneers. Clenar's 15-footer baseline jumper is good. 
Coming up on 940 left here. Pioneers have cut the once double digit lead to four. Quintanaris overplaying that lane just a bit. Jack Schultz now working off the dribble, lays it up too hard. Peyton White. He's got numbers going the other way. Clinaris dishes it out. Huff through the lane. Bullying his way through. Lays it up and in. Peyton White now picking up full court. Putting the pressure on Collins. White works through the screen. Collins works it over Schultz. Steps back. Triple on the way. No good. Peyton White tracks down the board. Clinaris in transition. Slows it up. Now Eaton, numbers here. Ramsey Huff fakes the corner triple. Now Peyton White's gonna reset. Huff, the Buraquay's got it baseline. They swing it, White, good look at the wing triple, no good. Pioneers getting all they can eat from the three point line. Just haven't been able to knock them down yet. And that's what you're gonna get with that two three is you're gonna get a ton of looks from beyond the arc. Wong, his triple, off back iron. Clonaris tips it away, comes up with it, and tough foul there. Wong took the legs out from Clonaris, and Clonaris may have smacked his head on the hard wood. Clonaris looks to be okay. And a scary possession, no doubt about it. Wong, not sure if he fell or what kind of happened. We're going to take a look at it. Pioneers get the stop. And diving out for it there was Wong. That was just kind of a dangerous play from start to finish from Wong. Diving out for it. Clonaris had it, no doubt. Just took the leg straight out from underneath of him. Clonaris trying to answer right back with a corner triple. Too much on it. Transition offense here for the Cougars. They dump it off. Grady Lewis with a huge block. Now the Pioneers push it. James through the lane. Dumps it off Campbell. Up off glass and gets it to go. Pioneers building on the momentum. Chris James took it away but ended up out of bounds. Timeout here. We're going to take a quick break. 24 all 750 left. My name is Jacob Hugger with Cal State East Bay Athletics. Thank you for joining us on the CCAA Network. We'll see you after the timeout. And we are back out of the timeout. Pioneer shooting 45% from the field. The Cougars shooting a m very impressive 52% from the field. The big difference is Pioneer's one of nine from three at 11%. Three of eight for the Cougars at 37%. As that number's gonna change just a bit here. Jack Schultz knocks it down. Make them four of nine. Campbell. Now over to Clonaris. 27-24. 7.30 left. 
James inside Lewis. Lewis lays it up off glass and gets it to go. Tengen works off his man. Can't get the jumper to go. Clenaris tracks it down. Now here's James. James back up top. Clenaris steps into a three and knocks it down. Pioneers lead at 29-27. Timeout taken by Nick Booker of the Cougars. Wants to talk things over here. 29-27. Pioneers lead it. And we are back after the Pioneers took a two-point lead here, 29-27, as we are under seven to go here in this first half. Now Tengen. Backdoor cut here, nice move made by the Cougars. Mike Pope, six-foot-three sophomore, just fooled everybody. Nice backdoor lane there. Make it a 29 all. Clonaris tries to force that one inside. That's going to be a turnover. Now here come the Cougars trying to build on a little bit of momentum. Nice bucket, the turnover. Now if you can get another one here. Try to start building a little something again. Jack Schultz one more time. This one no good. Rebound tracked down by James. James out to Abiraque, inside Grady Lewis. Lewis dumps it off Clonaris. Clonaris lays it up off glass and gets it to go. He just waited for Edwin Collins to come back down. Really have no opportunity of blocking it. Clonaris played it perfectly. Pioneers back up two here with under six to go. Corner triple for Pope. Rims it out. Chris James tracks it down. Now here comes James. Hands off a Biroquay. A Biroquay. Dumps it off Clonaris in the corner. Cross court. Back up top Campbell. Miscommunication there. Campbell thought Clonaris was going to stay where he was. So the Pioneers turn it over. 39-29 here. 5-29 left. Two-point game. Cougars looking to tire, take the lead right here. Foul taken here by the Pioneers, Chris James. Looks like we might have a cut or a mark. We got the timeout here from the officials to kind of clean something off of Max Tengen's jersey. Everything squared away here. It's going to be side out. Your inbounder is going to be Jack Schultz. Tengen, hands off. Pick and roll action for the Cougars. Not a lot there. Now looking to go to work is Collins. Back out. Tengen, deep two. Rims it out. Clonaris there for the rebound.
Clonaris swings at Hardy, corner triple, gets it to go. Sayano Hardy knocks down a big one. Dump off here. Pioneers playing the defense, runs Schultz off the line, the floater got tipped, Grady Lewis got a piece of it. Now here comes Campbell in transition. Campbell tries to force it to Hardy, got tipped, but Hardy came back for it. Here is Clonaris, out to Campbell. Corner triple, no good, rebound brought down there by Collins. 34-29 here, Pioneers lead it by five. Tough take through the lane. Campbell played the defense perfectly. James now pushing it. Grady Lewis gets it inside, dumps it out. Hardy hit one, one more. Can't get it to go. Schultz tracks it down. Backdoor cut one more time from Pope. This pass a little off target, so they reset. Collins through the lane. Campbell plays the defense and knocks it away. Media timeout here. 342 left. 34-29. Pioneers lead it by five. Thank you for joining us here on the CCAA Network. My name is Jacob Hugger with Cal State East Bay Athletics. We'll see you out of the media timeout. And we are back out of the media timeout. Baseline out here for the Cougars. Looking to get their offense going. They went on a little bit of a run. Pioneers answer right back. And now Cougars try to respond. Here is Foster worked it back out. Hong just could not get it to go. So Wong just put a little bit too much on it. Now Hardy has it. Hardy wing extended, gets the step, attack and baseline, lays it up and in. Hardy providing a spark off the bench. Tengen, the step baseline, lays it out to Pope. Pope swings it right back, good ball movement from the Cougars. Campbell got a piece of that one, Schultz works it back out. Not a lot there, five seconds left on the shot clock here. Tengen through the lane, draws the contact and will head to the line. Second foul on Hardy here. And the first one is good from Tengen. Max Tengen on the season, 68% free throw shooter. Just has only shot 19 free throws. Doesn't go to the line a whole lot, but Hardy gets the breather. As Tengen knocks down the second, goes two for two.
So a five point game, 36 31. Now Eaton has it in the corner, trying to work something around. Peyton White works off the screen, now swings it. Campbell's got it baseline. Backing down his defender. Steps through out to Chris James, working against Pope. Now the switch. James and Eaton not on the same page there. That pass ends up right in the bench of the Cougars. So turnover by the Pioneers. Tengen gets to the free throw line, stops on a dime and knocks down the 15 footer. Not an easy shot, but Tengen makes it look so effortless. Just going from 100 to zero, stops, rises up and knocks it down. Pioneers really working the perimeter right now, trying to force something in. That two three can be so just stout sometimes, just not a lot of opportunities inside. That's why you gotta start Connected on some triples. Pope corner three. He gets it to go. Ties it up at 36. Here is Eaton. Right now, Coach Rooney not liking the pace of this game. This is playing into how the Cougars want to play. This is their type of game here. Deep two on the way. Campbell rises up. And when you need a bucket, Campbell can deliver. Puts them up 38-36. Coming up on one minute left here in the first half. Now Schultz. Cross court pass. Pick and roll coming for Tengen. Little pick and pop. Good look at a triple here from Foster and he buries it. Just like that, the Cougars take a 39-38 lead thanks to a Foster triple. 46% from the three for the Cougars. As Eaton, Euro step, rises, no good, fights for the rebound, can't get it to go. Peyton White's there. White fights through, draws the contact, but they're gonna say he stepped out of bounds first. So a five second difference, game shot clock here. So the Cougars can't necessarily freeze it out here. They can, they can definitely get the last good shot if they want to. Collins with it. Pope through the lane back out. And they're not gonna get the shot off. 24 second violation. Game clock should be moved to 5.8. That was the exact difference. So as soon as that horn goes off. And they do change it, 5.8. So Pioneers can get a shot up here. They play the defense, they trail by one. What do they have drawn up? Here is Eaton. Time winding down. Eaton rises up, gets it to go right at the buzzer. Beautifully drawn up. Eaton shows off the speed and puts the Pioneers up. 40-39 to close out half number one. Take a look at some of the stats here of that first half. Cougars shooting 48% from the field. Pioneers shot 51% from the field. From the three though, that's the big difference. Six of 13 for the Cougars, 46%. Pioneers, three of 13 from three, just at 23%. That's where you see why this game's so close right now. You look at points in the paint. Pioneers have dominated that 26 to 12. They want to establish that inside game, even working against that 2-3 zone. No doubt they did that in the first half. Pioneers, eight turnovers to six for the Cougars, so something to kind of keep an eye on. We're going to take a short break here for halftime, but we will see you in the second half. My name's Jacob Hugger with Cal State East Bay Athletics. We'll see you in the second half.
Keep. Yep. Yes, and go tail, and go tail. When I think of a pioneer, the first thing that I think of is the commitment that our student athletes have good, to good, East Bay, good. to their individual teams, to their overall experience. Right now we have 15 varsity sports, which is close to 300 athletes. It makes us the biggest athletic department in the CCAA. Sports represents me, being strong, being willing to put others first. I would dish off a pass rather than shoot the final shot. That's how I feel. It's really easy to be on teams when everybody thinks the same thing or everybody comes from the same space because you don't have to do the hard work of really making connections. College athletics, in a way that maybe nothing else does, cuts that social capital gap in a way that we're able to catapult people into the world in spaces that are going to matter. I look at our student athletes and all that they do on a daily basis in terms of waking up early to go and get a lift in, going to class, coming back for practice. Life can be really, really complicated. Uh, and having a sense of home, having a place where you know you're going to be welcomed, you know you're going to be valued, you know you're going to be pushed, and you know you're going to be celebrated, that's a very, very important thing. If I didn't have basketball, I don't think I will even be here. It built me. I found my leadership. I found my growth. Everything in my life, I can always connect it back to sports. Who we are as an identity, the kind of students that we serve, where we all come from, and, and, and our core values is about how we are being impactful in spaces. Our kids have to show up physically. They have to fail in public while people are counting on them. They have to figure out how to be successful with other people. And we have the opportunity to expose them to all of those things that they may not otherwise see. We use the terms time management or they can balance things, but what it really is, right, is like they do hard stuff. They do things that they don't want to do when they have to be done to get the results that they need to get. My hope for this program is to be a leader in Division II. We want to be the program that everybody aspires to be. We want to be the standard bearers across the board. To this day, nothing gives me chills like watching kids have success.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 40-39. Final seconds ticking down right now. And we got second half action coming up next. Both teams going with their starting, their standard starting lineups. Pioneers get the opportunity first here. 40-39 coming out of half. Lewis over to Campbell to start things up. Immediately go inside. Grady Lewis up off glass and he gets it to go. Backdoor cut, rising up. Campbell played the defense and picks up the block. Good recovery there, Tyree Campbell. I'm gonna call kickball here, going against Collins. Give us the backdoor cut. Campbell recovers and picks up the big time block. Here is Campbell, inside Lewis. He's got it on the block, backing down his man. Rises up and draws the foul. Lewis heading to the free throw line. And Lewis first free throw off back iron. So Chico State, Cal State, Dominguez Hills battling right now. You want to see Chico State lose that game if you are a Pioneer fan. Dominguez Hills currently leading 37-33. Rebound track down there. Grady Lewis goes 0-2 for 2 from the line. So we'll keep an eye on that Chico State game. They trail by four here at half. You also want to see Humboldt take down Cal State LA. That would be a good thing as well for Pioneer fans. First half winding down there. Humboldt leads it by 5, 44-39. And that three is good. Knocking that one down was Foster. Just like that, we're all tied up at 42. White attacking baseline. Swings it over. James in the corner. Thought about it. Decides to work his way through. Lays it up off glass and gets it to go. Now working downhill is Collins. Collins, tough shot. Can't get it to go. Pioneers can push. They have numbers going the other way. Clenaris over to James. Dumps it off. Lewis rises up and gets that one blocked. May have been some contact. Pope step in triple. No good. Lewis is there for the rebound. James almost loses it in transition. Finds Lewis. Lewis over to Campbell. Campbell wing triple. Yes, sir. Campbell knocks down the triple. Make it a 47-42 game. Timeout taken here by head coach Brian Rooney. We're going to take a short break, and we'll see you out of the timeout.
And we are back out of the timeout. 17.48 left here in the second half. Now with it is Max Tengen. They swing it around. Now Schultz working against his man. They swing it through, wing triple on the way is good. Knocking it down is Collins. Cutting that lead right back to two. Campbell inside Lewis. Double team comes, tries to dump it off. Stepping in the passing lane is Collins. Collins now on the breakaway, draws the contact with White before the shot. So first team foul going against the Pioneers here in the second half. Comes at 2.46. Gone here. So Schultz, your inbounder. Little double screen for Pope. Not a lot there. They work it back out. Foster now trying to make something happen. Tengen with it. Wing extended. Tengen gets to his spot. 17-footer. Knocks it down. Ties it up at 47. James up ahead. Peyton White working against Tengen. Campbell through the lane. Kind of just floats it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound tracked down from Foster. Chance to take the lead here for the Cougars. Three ball on the way. Collins. It's good. Catch and fire. Edwin Collins. Cougars lead up by three. 50 47. Campbell swings it. White. Down low. Grady Lewis. Lewis. Back out, Chris James, corner triple, trying to respond, comes up short. Clonaris tried to pull the old Jose Alvarado and try to sneak behind Collins there, did not work. Collins steps back deep two off front rim. Long shot, long rebound out to Tengen. As the Cougars set it up, under 16 to go here. Tengen rises up, knocks down the deep two, and timeout here called by Brian Rooney as the Cougars shorthanded on the night, lead it by five, 52-47, 15-49 left. We'll be right back after the timeout. The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. And we are back out of the timeout. 15-49, Cougars lead it by five. Clonaris, top of the key. Now over James. Grady Lewis has got it. Every time he touches it, the double team comes. Three defenders there this time. He dishes it off. Chris James couldn't finish it. Rebound brought down. Tough one by Edwin Collins. Doing a little bit of everything right now. Collins. Caught in no man's land, back out Tengen. Tengen through the lane, loses it. Pope keeps it in play and throws it off of Campbell's foot. And 
And Campbell plays the defense. Pope was trying to get it to go out of bounds off Chris James, though. So Pioneers give it right back. 15-13 left. So the Cougars start the offense up, Tengen with it. Here is Tengen attacking baseline, lays it up off glass, no good. Clenars is there for the board. Now Pioneers look to push, Chris James over to Clenaris, steps into the three, knocks it down, make it a 52-50 game. Clenaris knocks down a big one. And a strong move down low, working against the big man, Grady Lewis. Chris Howard puts it up and in. Lead back up to four. Now James, top of the key, swings it over, Peyton White. Eaton and Huff at the scorer's table. Clenaris, now over to Peyton White. And Peyton White's pass stolen. Coming out with it is Collins. Collins going right into the chest of James, and a foul called. So Collins is going to head to the line for a couple of free throws. So Tayano Hardy, Deshaun Eaton, and Ramsey Huff getting ready to sub into the game. It'll be Chris James, Payton White, and I believe Clonaris here, if I'm not mistaken. No, they're going to take out Campbell. So it'll be Eaton, Huff, Cam Tayano Hardy, excuse me, Clonaris, and Lewis. That is your Pioneers lineup here. 55-50, chance to make it a six-point game here for Collins. And Collins knocks it down. So 56-50, approaching that 14-minute mark. Eaton through the lane. Not a lot there. Swings it, Clenaris gets a good look at the triple and knocks it down. Clenaris starting to feel himself from three here. That's his third of the game. Now Pope with it. Tough move through the lane from Foster. The defense played and it's gonna be out of bounds on the Pioneers. Some friendly banter here between Foster and Clenaris, it looks like. Now Foster working against Lewis. Lewis stands him up, and it's gonna be out of bounds on Lewis. Lewis throws his hands up. Thought that one was for sure out on Foster. That's kind of what I thought. It looked like it may have been off of his foot. Foster wanting the foul call. He did not get that. Collins one more time. Can't get this one to go, this one off Iron Pioneer Ball. Hardy works it over to Huff, Huff baseline. Throws this one up top to Eaton. Eaton had to get up for that one. They swing it around. And a charge called here on the old passing crash from Eaton. Third team foul, first foul for Eaton. Hardy was going to get a great look at the triple there. Wow. 
Schultz swings it, corner, triple, off back iron, long shot, long rebound, Pioneers track it down. Eaton in some trouble, finds Clonaris. Clonaris now works it out, Huff. Huff swings it, Clonaris corner, triple, can't get this one to go, Hardy fighting for the rebound, extra effort, and throws that one off of Edwin Collins. Hardy came flying in all the way from out at that three-point line. Just watch him. Extra effort there. Throws it right off of Collins. Hardy runs off the screen. They're going to have to get it in. They barely do inside Grady Lewis. Lewis, doesn't matter how many defenders. He put it up, couldn't get it to go. Eaton was there for the easy tip in. 56-55, one-point game here. Now numbers going the other way for the Cougars. Tengen stops on a dime, back out, Foster triple. He answers right back. Cougars just are not missing right now from beyond the arc. Clonaris, he tries to answer right back. Misses off back, Iron Schultz was there for the board. 47% right now for the Cougars from beyond the arc. Collins through the lane, hangs in there and lays it up and in. Now here comes Huff. Lead back up to six. Here is Eaton. Eaton, nice little spin move, stops on a dime, rises up and knocks it down. Deshaun Eaton with the crafty move there. Collins now going to work on Clinaris. A lot of dribbling. Was not able to connect on the jumper. Hardy. Trying to find some open space in the corner. He does. Head fakes the triple, steps back. Throws it inside. Clinaris, 14-footer is good. 61-59, two-point game. Two-point game here coming up on the 10-30 mark. Collins gets to his spot. He can't connect. Eaton tracks down the board. Pioneers looking to push. Eaton in transition. Eaton loses it, and coming up with it is Max Tengen. Ooh, what a pass from Max Tengen. Just a bit too far out in front. Got the oohs and ahs going from the crowd. Tengen tried to thread the needle there. Could not get it through. It's going to be a turnover. Pioneers ball when we come back. 61-59, 10-18 left here in the second half. Don't go anywhere. We got ourselves a good one. To be a pioneer, it means to be a part of a community that's inclusive, caring, and hardworking. I think sports is so important for everyone. We've all got to get some time to play. Golf means everything to me. I feel like I play it so much that at this point it's like a part of my identity. In sports, representing a school, having a logo on your clothes is a lot bigger than what some people realize. Being a pitcher, you, you have a unique experience on the field. I love going on the mound and having control of the game. Every day I put on the jersey and get to train with my boys, then uh, you know it's a good day. It's the drive that keeps me going. Really just go for it all and compete and being in a group of guys that has the same dreams and goals that help me become better and I can help them become better too. Pioneer is a great name for someone who comes from a culture that was pioneering for themselves as well, so it's great to embody that here at school. I am a pioneer. I'm a pioneer. I am a pioneer. Pioneer. I am. I am. I am a pioneer. And we are back out of the timeout. Pioneers 
Trying to tie or take the lead here. Hardy steps into the wing. Triple and knocks it down. Right on cue. Teano Hardy knocks down a big one and takes the lead right back for the Pioneers. Here is Tengen. Cougars just working it around right now. Tengen trying to work against Ibiraque. Backdoor cut here, Wong lays it up and in. Eaton, nice crossover, rises up and gets it to go. Here is Tengen, dishes it out. Foster, good fake on the triple, tough take through and draws a charge here sitting in there was Huff. Got the positioning, got set, took the contact and a turnover here for the Cougars. Huff swings it out, Hardy, deep three, yes sir! Teyano Hardy catching fire for the Pioneers. 67-63. Hardy with 14 off the bench, making three of four from three and five of six from the field. That one was from way downtown. 8.55 left timeout taken here by the Cougars. Nick Booker, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. And we are back after Teano Hardy caught fire. He put the Pioneers up 67-63, back-to-back threes. He's up to 14 now for the Pioneers. Tengen gets to his spot, trying to answer right back, and he does just that. So lethal from that mid-range. Tengen just getting to his spot, rising up and knocking him down, keeping his squad in it. Two-point game, 67-65, Hardy. Another one from way downtown. This one off iron, little heat check moment. Tengen trying to tie or take the lead here. They work it around. Foster pick and roll action. Clonaris read it perfectly. Comes up with the steal. Clonaris over to a Biroque transition. Triple, no good. Hardy bats that one out. Huff tries to save it. And he just hit the line. And right after the timeout, we'll get the media timeout, 67-65, 7.59 left. We're going to take a short break. We'll see you after the media timeout.
And we are back out of the media timeout. 7.59 left, two point game, 67-65. Next opportunity, we'll talk things over, CCAA, see what's going on around the league and what it means for these two teams. Getting his spot was Collins, good defense though. Pope triple, knocks it down. The lead right back into the Cougars' hands. Fresh new four, it looks like, coming over to the table, James White, Lewis, and Campbell. Abiraque up off glass, gets it to go. And Tengen can't connect there. Eaton tracks it down. Now here comes Eaton in transition. Burst of speed, rises up, gets fouled going up with it. And he'll head to the line for a couple of free throws here. So Eaton with two free throws on the way. And that one off front rim does not go. Eaton a 71% free throw shooter. So the statistics tell you he should make free throw number two. And this one rims out as well. So Eaton can't connect on either. Pioneers lead it by two. Here is Tengen. Now over to Foster. Foster right into the chest of Lewis. Lewis goes straight up. Plays the defense. This one batted around into the hands of Clenaris. Clenaris over to Eaton. Eaton through the lane. Eaton takes the contact, gets it to go. Not an easy bucket there. Eaton makes it a three-point game. Coming up on six minutes left. Collins hangs in there. Tough bucket there from the Cougars. Edwin Collins. Eaton. Tempo starting to pick up a bit here. As now Lewis goes right into his defender. He can't get it to go. Pope, wing triple, just off front rim. Schultz tried to tip it in, but pinned it up against the rim. Clonaris through the lane into Lewis. Lewis barrels his way in, and that's going to be a charge. Every day of the week, Lewis just kind of dropped that shoulder and went right into, I believe that was Foster. So no doubt about it, the right call. Here is Tengen. Chance to take the lead here. As we approach the five minute mark, Tengen swings it over, Wong baseline. And miscommunication there. James got a piece of it. It's gonna stay Cougar ball here, side out. So here is Tengen, works off the screen. Now back up, Wong swings it. Pick and roll action here. Now Pope getting downhill on Clonaris. Clonaris stays with him every step of the way. And it's gonna be Pioneer ball. Beautiful box outs from the Pioneers there. I mean, 
nobody grabbed the ball and it kind of just went out of bounds, but the box outs were textbook. You can clip those up and show those to anybody who wants to learn how to box out because that was it right there. Pioneers lead it by one, looking to extend out onto it. James works off Clonaris' screen. Now Clonaris works off Lewis' screen. Finds Campbell down low. Campbell puts it up and in, makes it a three-point game. So here is Tengen. Wong in the corner, back up top. Tough move here for Collins through the lane, rising up, no good. And Clonaris tracks it down. Clonaris up to White. White goes right at his defender, draws the contact, can't get it to go, but free throws on the way. And White knocks down the first. And two for two there is White. If the Pioneers can go on a little bit of a run here in the next minute or so, it might just close things out for the Cougars. Here is Schultz. Hands off Tangen. D3, you need it, you get it. Just like that, a two point game. We were talking if the Pioneers could go on a run, Tangen shut that down right away. Lewis top of the key. Hands off Clonaris. Campbell trying to answer right back with the corner triple. He does just that. Pushes it right back up to five. Pioneers and Cougars going back and forth here. Now here is Collins. That pass tipped away. Up ahead to Clonaris. Clonaris rises up and lays it off glass. Seven point lead, 80-73. Coming up on three minutes left. Tengen deep two is good. The freshman, Max Tengen. Keeping the Cougars in it. Five point game. Payton White wing extended. White tries to split the defense back out. James. Clonaris, baseline jumper. Knocks it down and answers right back. Pioneers would love to keep trading buckets right now. With a seven point lead, you can afford to trade here. The clock is gonna soon become your friend if you are the Pioneers. Collins throws it inside. The foul, the bucket, and one opportunity for Uriah Foster. 2.36 left. That should take us to the media timeout, and it will. 82-77. Five-point game, chance to make it four here when we come back out of the media timeout. My name's Jacob Hugger with Cal State East Bay Athletics. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast. We will see you after the timeout. California.
And we are back out of the final media timeout. One timeout left here for the Cougars, two for the Pioneers. So four point game here after the free throw is good. Pioneers, if you're able to pick up a bucket here and just kind of keep working at this clock. Good ball movement from the Pioneers. Clinton Norris not on the same page, but he throws it off glass, gets it himself, can't get it to go. Second opportunity, and he's fouled. So Clonaris heads to the line. Clonaris can't connect on the second, so a five-point game here as we approach the two-minute mark. Collins gets through. A lot of contact, and he will head to the line for a couple of free throws here. So one thing you don't want to do if you're the Pioneers right now is pick up these fouls and give up some free throws. You want to keep this clock moving. And the first one, no good. Wilson has had a very good night. Excuse me, Collins. Collins has had a very good night, 20 points. Just three of five from the free throw now. At 60%. 50% from the three-point line, 49% from the field. So he splits the pair. Puts it right back to a four point game. Under two to go here. Pioneers need score, stop, and a score, and that might just put this out of reach. Here is Campbell. And coming in, Pope takes the ball right away from Lewis. This one tipped around, and it's going to be out of bounds. Wild sequence there. It's still going to be. Cougar ball here. No doubt about it, this game is far, far, far from over. Just 131 left, but only a four point game. That's two possessions. Pioneers cannot afford to get sloppy here late. That pass all the way out to Tengen. Cougars need a bucket right here. They know it, everybody knows it, and they're going to want to go to Tengen. Or to Collins, Tengen. Not a lot there, hands off. Schultz finds his man, Collins wing triple, missed everything. So pioneer ball here. You want to wind down this clock and get a bucket and a foul here going against Collins. Just the sixth team foul. So both teams with six team fouls now from here on out. Any foul you see will be free throws. Huff back out of the game for some size with Lewis.
James has got it and he's fouled by Tengen. So two free throws coming here for Chris James and that is not what the Cougars wanted. James first free throw is good knocking that one down makes it a five point game chance to make it six here with 107 left two for two is Chris James pioneers Lead it by six, under a minute to go here. Cougars need buckets, they need it quick. Here's Schultz going baseline, tries to force that one out. James tips it away. James could not handle it. Tengen comes out of the pack with it. Tengen, runner, is good. Timeout taken here by the Cougars. Four point game, 45 seconds left, 85, 81. Pioneers need one bucket, and that might just close it out. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back after the timeout. Legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. We are back out of the timeout. No more timeouts for the Cougars. Pioneers get it into Chris James. James, double team comes. He works it over to Huff. Huff now trapped. Huff loses it. And coming up with it, nobody able to get the bucket and a foul here. Going against the Pioneers. Coming up short off that one was Wong. It just kind of hung on the rim. Didn't want to go down, but a foul going against the Pioneers. And that's two free throws. So absolute disaster right now for the Pioneers. Exactly what the Cougars needed. They got a chance to make it a one possession game here with still time left. And the free throw, no good. Grady Lewis tracks down the board, throws it up. And a foul on Grady Lewis before he could get it away. If the Cougars wanted to foul anybody, they were looking to foul Grady Lewis. On the season, this has been the one area where Lewis has struggled from the free throw line. He's got it up to 50% coming into the night. Grady Lewis on the night, 0 for 2 from the free throw. Right now, what you're thinking is if Grady Lewis can just knock down one of these, it helps out a bunch. And he does just that, knocking down the first. Lewis.
his second free throw is good. No timeouts for the Cougars. We get a quick substitution eaten into the game for Lewis. They're going shooting for size here. Here is Tenkin. Cougars know they gotta go quick. They gotta get buckets and they need them in a hurry. Tengen slips up and loses the ball. Clonaris fired up. That should just about do it. Six point game here. It's gonna be pioneer ball. So 27 seconds left, 87-81. Pioneers need to get it in and get it across half court. Peyton White over to James, now up to Clonaris. Clonaris, and he's gonna be fouled. 20.9 left here. The way I see this is if Clonaris can knock down one, Pioneers should just about secure the win. Makes it a three possession game. Clenaris can't get it to go, so it stays a two-possession game. Six points, 15 seconds. Tengen, his triple, missed everything. Clenaris with it. Clenaris is going to be fouled, and we get set to do it one more time. So Clonaris at the line with an opportunity to make it a three possession game. It's looking like the Pioneers are gonna move to 17 and nine overall on the season and a conference record of 13 and seven and make that push for a higher CCAA conference standing seed. On the other side of things, it's looking like the Cougars are gonna move to 10 and 16 overall and nine and 11 in conference. Cougars will not be out of it yet, but definitely does not help their chances here with the loss against the Pioneers tonight. Fans, don't go anywhere. We got an interview coming up right after the game as they're going to throw another second up on the clock. So they get it into White, and that is going to do it. Once again, fans, don't go anywhere. We got an interview coming up right after this.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm joined here by Teano Hardy. First things first, great game. 14 points off the bench in 14 minutes, 71% from the field, 60% from three. Just kind of break break down your performance. I was just playing with a lot of confidence today. I, I was in the gym a lot all week. Uh, a good job by my teammates finding me in the, in the open floor. Um, and I just want to thank my coaches for, like, keep staying with me this whole season. Awesome. Well, you were talking about being in the gym. I actually stopped by. I got in here a little bit early. You guys were finishing up warm-ups. You guys do your half-court shots at the end of uh, shoot-around and everything. Mm -hmm. I saw you knocked it down, and you were pretty fired up. Did you just kind of know at that point it was going to be one of those days coming in? I'm not going to lie. I was feeling it. I was a little feeling confident today when I came in when I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, like I said, I saw the half-court shot. You had a great game today. Just kind of break down the overall team mentality right now. You guys are on a three-game win streak. You guys got to be feeling good. Mm -hmm. Clinched a spot in the CCAA playoffs. Still mm -hmm. fighting for standings. How's everybody doing just in the locker room? We're feeling good. We just want to keep we know the job not done. We're trying to get the uh, conference championship when we go down there to San Bernardino. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, Teano, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you. So, fans, that is going to do it once again. Your Cal State East Bay Pioneers move to 17-9 overall on the season and a conference record of 13-7. and We're back at it again this Saturday. Pioneers take on the Seawolves. My name is Jacob Bunker with Cal State East Bay Athletics.